good morning. Hi there. Happy Saturday. Cheers. Cheers. Hi there. Oh, look who we have joining us today. <laughs> Hi, Kaylee. She probably wants to get up here so she can look out the window and watch the chipmunks and the squirrels. You can get on your perch. There's no sunshine today. We have to keep it closed while we do this video. We'll go to the other window. Huh. She's been having fun running from window to window because we have big windows over here and uh, there's a chair in the corner so she can look out two windows and then the one over at the table she can look out of and then her perch right here and we have like forest land just around us uh, lots of other people though <laughs> where's our board what'd you do with it we're flying blind <laughs> what are you talking about oh the cue sheet yeah <laughs> This board. <laughs> it's like okay. Um, what hey. are we talking about? It doesn't really matter. We're not scripted. It's just giving us, uh, reminding us. It's just to remind us. Um, I need binoculars to read it. I know it is kind of small today, huh? It's because I was putting a lot of information too closely together. Anyway. Oh. So since we saw you last week, Royal Wedding Saturday, um, I almost I, feel naked without a hat. <laughs> Elaine, should we do something about that? <laughs> Next time we're back in civilization where there's a fabric store, I'm getting some fabric. Every Saturday should be a hat day. It should be. It should be. But, you know, all we have are ball caps. Ding. A thinking cap. <laughs> <laughs> Starting next Saturday. We're going to go through all my ball caps. We don't have all of them. We have a big tub of them at my mom's. And we We're have a box of them here. We're going to go through all my ball caps. This will take us through several Saturdays, <laughs> that's for sure. That's what I'll do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Thank you for all of your comments on the hats, too. That was, yes. it was fun. It was fun. We don't like to just sit here and go, blah, 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 blah. Or like on Charlie Brown. Wah, 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 wah. I think that's what we're doing. Um, first off, thank you so much for using our uh, Amazon links and shopping on Amazon. We appreciate it. We get a little tiny, I don't know, I know a lot of people call it a tip, but it's very small. But hey, it helps us and we truly do appreciate it. If you're going to shop on Amazon, go to TomAndLoriRVLife.com and go to our Amazon store or else just click the links below. We have them uh, also in the description. Yeah, it's just like a little commission that you get, yeah. or that we get by you purchasing something through our link. We yeah. really, really yeah. appreciate really it. Really do. Thank you so much for using that. So um, last Sunday. Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. 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 It might have been Monday. I don't remember. Anyway, doesn't matter what day. But we went to go have breakfast at Schatz Bakery, and if anybody has driven through Bishop on 395, know what Schatz Bakery is. It's this old Bavarian uh, style building with um, tons and tons of delicious baked goods. That's all they have in there is baked goods, baked basically. Goods. So they do have a deli on one side, but they serve sandwiches and that sort of thing. We thought, well, maybe in the mornings they do a t type of breakfast or maybe even breakfast sandwiches. They do breakfast sandwiches, but they're pre-cooked. And they were sitting there in this little heat oven thing, and they, the eggs looked really dry. And Tom can't eat all those bakery goods. So we got me a couple of donuts for the next couple of days, and then we went to Denny's and had breakfast <laughs> across the street. All my friends think I'm crazy because we always go to Denny's, but it's like we always know what the food's going to be like. And it's good. It's cheap. We both like it. And that's all that matters. Yeah, I know. People <laughs> make fun of us. It's funny because for so many years, my mom, she loves Denny's. And she would all, always wanted to go to Denny's, Denny's, Denny's. And everybody that I know would always, you know, laugh at that or think that's funny. And now I'm like that. It's like, I know that they have stuff I like. And it's always good. And the price is reasonable. Plus, I get to use my old man card. <laughs> get Twice. A discount. And then the credit card that he uses is an AARP card, and you get cash back. So we get a huge discount. <laughs> yeah. 
We end up getting so. like 25% off every time we walk in there, so it's not a bad deal for us. Yeah, most of the time I can split my meal and get two out of it at least. Yeah. But this time I just got uh, some biscuits. But but it's a really yeah. good bakery. What? Yeah. Can we throw a link up about that? Yeah. Okay, we'll put a link to that Shots Bakery. Shats? Shats. I think it's Shats. Shats, Shats Bakery yeah. in the description below. And if you don't know what it is, you can at least go look at their website. Yep. They've been, they own a couple other restaurants in town too. So, yeah. um, anyway, um, we are no longer with boulders behind us in Bishop, in the Bishop I area. Hinted to uh, at the beginning of this that Kaylee is looking around forest land and watching little squirrels and chipmunks run around. We come to a campground that is midway between Mammoth Lakes and the June, June Lakes, June Lake. Mm -hmm. And it's a great free campground in the Inyo National Forest. Um, what did we say? It had over 40 sites, maybe 50 sites. Yeah. I'm not sure. Um, a high ATV, OHV, off-highway vehicle. They had like over 2,200 miles of OHV trails. Yes. So Just branching off of here. And during, you know, in the campground, people have been really good about driving really slow with their razors and dirt bikes and quads and all that and uh they head off to the trails and jason go, go riding and yes. candace you guys would love this camping with the kelly's i this texted is, candace this is your type of campground with yes. all the ohv trails along yep. here it it's, is and it's in the forest it's in the big pines it's beautiful here it's beautiful we'll have videos on this coming out several days down the road we still have to get through our tonopah videos which by the way uh our Throw Up Thursday videos won't start for like another week and a half, two Being weeks. Being called Throw Up Thursday because we've yeah. already had some yeah. uh, produced already. Yeah, so. but we've got a Tonopal one and then we're going to have a bonus Tonopal video coming out the day after that also. So there'll be two days bonus in a row. Bonus video! You'll get bonus video! Whoopee, that, that'll right? Be, that'll be this, this coming week. <laughs> yep. So um, we have a spot, that, I mean even though we're in trees, they have several open spots that have, mm -hmm. we can get solar. We've been getting good solar pretty much every day, even though there's been some cloudy, cloudiness. We got here on Tuesday and it's Saturday, so we've been here for a few days. And we ran the generator just for extra little oomph for, what, an hour? Last night. That was the first time. Um, yeah. And uh, it got cold. <clears throat> it's been chilly. It's no, been it's awesome. not been chilly. I use the C word. It got cold. It was 30 degrees last night here. Up the road, it was like in the mid 20s. <laughs> Not very far up the road from us. Yeah, we're sitting at what a little over 7,000 feet. 7,530 feet. And then uh, the the weather <laughs> for like the snow and that kind of thing was at 8,000 feet. So we weren't yeah. too far from where because he kept thinking we were going to wake up with snow, and it's like no, it's bright, sunshiny today. There's Few in, scattered clouds. In a way, I was hoping we would wake up to snow. I didn't even care if it was a dusting because I just wanted flannel sheets back on the bed. She won't ever put them on the bed unless there's snow on the ground. I said, nope, there's no snow on the ground. And I've decided anyway, all I'm going to do is his half of the bed with the flannel sheet. She's going to take a flannel Holding. sheet and take a regular sheet, cut it, sew them together. Fitted sheets, that's what you said you were going to do. Well, yeah, I mean, we'll get a couple sets of sheets, and I'm going to do that with ours, but what I'll do is, what he was saying <clears throat> is, I'm going to sew two sheets of two sets of sheets together, half flannel for him, <laughs> half regular for me, <laughs> and we'll have two sets of sheets I like that. I love it! <laughs> but before I do that, we'll take our flannel sheets, I'll fold it in half and put it on his side of the bed. It's supposed to stay on the cold side here for the rest of this next week. It's Memorial Weekend. Yeah. So for the whole next week, it's supposed to be in the 30s and up around 40 at night, which is cold. We have lots of blankies. We're nice and warm. <laughs> We're not sleeping in a tent like some of these people. That's true. That would be cold. And we don't run our... The reason I complain about it is because we don't run our furnace until we get up in the morning. I have the furnace set on 52... So it has to get to 52 inside our house before the furnace kicks on, which it did this morning. Yeah, it did this morning, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. There are no services here. There no. is no water. There's not even a trash bin. 
So you have to pack it in, pack it out. Um, up the road a ways at the June Lake Junction, there is a uh, shell station and a little store there. And they do have a dump station that you probably, I don't think they even advertise for it. There's a broken up sign that you go up this little dirt road and there's one up there and they want $12 for that and there is water and dump there. Or if you drive just a couple more miles down the road to the O Ridge campground on the June Lake mm -hmm. Loop, it's $10 and it looks a lot cleaner. And so, it's very nice, I don't know how I say this, yeah, it's, outside a, it's a very nice dump. <laughs> it's a national forest <laughs> campground so there, um, it is uh, yeah. kept kept up very nicely. Yeah. So that's uh, thing back to the no trash containers oh. here. You don't you don't have any place to dump your trash, but they do have what do they call them bear, the bear lockers. Bear lockers, so you can uh, like put your barbecue pits in there at night. Your coolers. Your coolers, yeah. any food residue, anything with uh, what you say fragrances or anything yep. like that, because you don't want to leave them in your vehicle because bears have been known to break into vehicles. If they yeah. smell something. They break into RVs too, so That's I've been true. very cautious with what I've even been throwing in our trash bin. Our trash can, there's a little door on the outside of the RV that you access the garbage can. And I don't want some bear trying to break into that to get to our trash can. So anything that's kind of got food stuff on it, I will scrape it off and I've been putting it in a baggie and putting it in the freezer until it's time to, to leave. That way we don't have that smell on anything attracting bears. I don't think there's going to be bears with all of these people here right now, but you never know. So, middle of the night, everybody's sleeping. Bears going to come looking for food. <laughs> Yogi and boo boo. <clears throat> so lots, we, of, lots of ATVs here. Mm -hmm. Hasn't been noisy at all. No, everybody's. We've been watching these these little kids on these little mini bikes and it reminds me of my son RJ when he was really tiny he had he had a little dirt bike right around didn't you say one of them had training wheels yes a regular little bitty dirt bike had training wheels yep, on it. it had like a training wheel up to the side of it <laughs> that's yep. the kind I would ride <laughs> seriously very, very cute seriously very cute. <laughs> yeah. but there are plenty of areas to um, hike around here We've gone for walks just around the campground, but there are some some offshoots of areas for hiking only that the ATVs are not allowed. So there's it's pretty nice. Yeah, and the creek that runs through here, Glass Creek, is full of trout. Yeah, it's a, a lot of fishermen been, been mm -hmm. a lot of people have been fishing and pulling trout out of there. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. So one day we uh, we watch the weather every day. And, you know, kept saying, oh, well, you're going to have these big thunderstorms. You're going to have hail. You're going to have all this. So we get all ready for that. Eh, nothing. We put our hail deflectors. Yeah, we have a hail kit. That's coming up. Shields on up. It's, gonna come up. it's coming up on a Tuesday's tip. So we're going to not going to talk about it anymore. Just watch for a hail kit Tuesday's tip. Red alert. Tip. Shields up. Yeah, exactly. Shields up. <laughs> So, um, the day before yesterday, we went for a little drive. Um, we are always going up 395 or down 395, just in a, in a hurry. Traveling. Traveling to Reno, to Bakersfield. Reno, Bakersfield. And there's all these wonderful stops along the way that we've never done. And we've always said, we've got to come back here. We've got to come back here. Well, we're here. Finally. So, we took a drive around the June Lake Loop. If you've never done it, Go do it. It's beautiful. beautiful. Oh my goodness. It is so <laughs> awesome. And um, we just took our time, stopped, took pictures, looked at things. Um, and then when you come out, well, from the direction that we came, we came in the south end of the loop yeah. and headed north and then came out just a couple miles away from Lead Vining, mm -hmm. which is just a little teeny tiny stop. At, it's like one of the entrances going into Yosemite. And um, it overlooks uh, Mono Lake. And so we kind of walked around there. We went into the uh, Mono Lake Visitor Center. And um, that's a really cool place, too. They have, like, lots of books and information about the whole area, about Yosemite and about Mono Lake. Someone, and they, someone bought you a nice gift. Somebody did. Oh, I saw this book. 
it is a field guide and it is chock full of pictures and descriptions of every type of plant, animal, insect, Tree. flower, but you know, birds. It even has like star charts. Star in chart there. in the back of it. <clears throat> and it was like, wow, that it, it's really awesome. And so it was twenty-five dollars, and I went, no, oh, it's too expensive. It's twenty-five dollars. But then the gal at the counter said. Well, that $25 makes you a member of the Mono Lake Committee or yeah, something some, like that. Something like that. Conservation Committee, because they're still trying. What happened years ago is that L.A. was taking too much water from the lake, and it got down to dangerous levels. So a group got together and started fighting it through legislation or whatever, I guess. And um, they won, so now the LA area cannot take too much water from it. They have to conserve. And so Mono Lake is being restored and they uh, there's people that go out and check on it all the time to make sure that the levels are there, that the animals that thrive on it are doing okay, that nobody is misusing it. So um, anyways, that our payment for this actually went towards the the, uh, the committee joining, you know, mm -hmm. kind of like a let Tahoe stay blue, keep Tahoe blue yeah. kind of thing. But anyway, this book is awesome. I have been referring to it uh, probably 30 times since I bought it. I've been reading Louis L'Amour books. I love Louis L'Amour. Yeah. <laughs> and he, he referred to several kinds of, like, plants, animals, Guess what I did? I looked them up in here, and they were in here. It was like, oh, okay, that's what he's talking about. Most of the time I know, but there were a couple of them I didn't. But anyway, it's an awesome, awesome book. And I figure we're going to be camp hosting up in Truckee area, Truckee. and uh, this will help me identify stuff there, too. So, anyhow, that was a, a mm -hmm. nice drive. Yeah, good drive. Yeah, we came home and ate. We were thought about eating up there, and it was like... No, we just spent $25 on it, but we can't afford to pay for supper. No we'll reason. Go home. We've got food at home. we got a house so. full of food. Let's go home and eat. Yep. So anything else? Um, <laughs> it's just been kind of... Hey, um, we found my coffee pot. <gasps> that's right. In a, a sporting goods... <clears throat> Yeah, sporting goods store. Sporting goods store in Levining. Levining. You know the one I've been talking about. We wanted a metal camp stove coffee pot with the little glass bulb on the top of it. Couldn't find one, so we ended up buying just a regular... The one that we have. Yeah. The one that we have. We You've seen do. pictures of it and things. And there it is. They had two sizes, too. One our size that we wanted, and then they even had a bigger one. But it had the little percolator bulb on the top. Had we not spent the $25 on her book, I would have spent the $25 for that coffee pot, just because. <laughs> Yeah, but that was pretty cool. And the guy was in there and he says, well, you tell everybody that you can find anything here. <laughs> it doesn't matter what it is. He sells everything to do with fishing, with hunting. He's got ammo. Lots He's of got camping stuff, too. Camping stuff. You name it. It's pretty fun. I mean, it's this small place, but it is packed with all kinds of stuff. You're just like, oh, ooh, look at that. Oh, look at this. And if you're ooh, driving up at north or south on 395, Stop in Lee Binding and at least stop into the sporting goods store and go in and look around, if nothing mm -hmm. else. It's really interesting just to walk around through it. Yeah, there were a, a few places that weren't even open yet because this weekend is the opening weekend, so they may have opened on on Friday. They may have opened yesterday for the season. Um, there was like a barbecue place that was closed. There were a couple of mm -hmm. uh, souvenir places or whatever. And as we're walking on the street, we're like, wow, where do people get their groceries? There is no grocery store here. Yeah, there is. And the prices were not that extreme. If you think about, there's nothing else around. I mean, really nothing else around. If you're going to drive somewhere. You have to either drive to Bishop or Bridgeport. And those places aren't cheap either. So you think so, about that. Because yeah. we went shopping at the Vons in Bishop, and it was like, yeah. Nope. When's the last time we were in a Walmart and got our groceries? It's been perump. 
<laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. And those prices are more expensive than you find in your bigger cities. Yeah. So, even though it's a Walmart, they still have a higher markup. So. Well, is that it? I think that's it. We've just been kind of chilling. I've been doing a lot of reading. Tom's been editing videos. I've been doing a little bit of work. Um, so, nothing real exciting except for, you know, our nice walks. Oh, okay. Here's one thing. We're, our first day here we're walking around after in the evening and we walk by this lady and she's sitting at a picnic table oh my gosh and uh she said hi you know is this your first time here and we <clears throat> went over and started talking to her and she was like yeah they've been coming here for t 20 years they were just going to camp in a tent overnight her husband was off fishing and so we're chatting and she said she was from santa rosa and i went oh my my uh, aunt and uncle live um in windsor and I said, uh, I said my, uh, oh, we were talking about the fire, and I said that I was concerned about my Aunt Jean. Um, she wasn't really my aunt, but I always called her that. My aunt, uncle and her were together for a long time. And um, so I said, you know, that I called in and checked on my Aunt Jean. She lives in Windsor, and the fire was starting to get close. I said, you know, she's um, an elderly piano teacher, and <laughs> some of her students um, had lost their homes. And this lady's face lit up, and she says, she says, what's her name? And I said, Jean. And she says, Young. And I went, yes. This lady that we met in the middle of the forest. the forest is friends, actually. They go on trips to Israel and stuff together. <laughs> friends with Jean. I was like, oh, my gosh. It was just, it was crazy. It was, it, it was nuts. And so we, you know, talked about, talked about Jean and, we took pictures together and everything, so... Um, it's pretty cool. You never know who you're going to run into full-time RV. Say hi to everybody, because you just amazing. never know. You've got to talk to everyone. It was just... It was luckily, she was nice and friendly, too, you know, so it did. It wasn't awkward. It was just like, and you wow. Can, you can always tell when you walk by someone's site yeah. whether they want to talk, whether they're open arms, Receptive or whether to a they just kind of look at you and go, I like okay keep walking that's kind of like the <laughs> camp host here <laughs> and he's not a real friendly outgoing guy you see him maybe once or twice a day he's yeah. got a backpack on a uh, bucket and like a little broom that you know he picks up the garbage or whatever and that's it but he doesn't like talking to people he doesn't like giving out information he just cleans the toilets yep. and picks up trash and goes back to his little Cor area his yeah. little corner yeah his little <laughs> rv trailer it looks like a little covered wagon gypsy wagon type of thing it's cool i took some yeah. pictures but i'm hoping to get s some kind of conversation with him because i would really like to get a closer up picture of it but it's kind of cool but anyway i think that's it okay. we hope you guys have a wonderful saturday and weekend and week if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it we'll be bummed but go ahead and give it a thumbs down and but let us know why you didn't like it <laughs> Uh, we love your comments. We don't have any shout-outs today. Um, we didn't really get that together. We'll have a whole bunch we'll next week. We'll save them up for next for next week. Um, you got any questions or anything like that, post them in the comments of this video. We'll answer those with our shout-outs next week. Yeah. Shout-outs and comments and answers. Yep. And, and, uh, anything else you want to know. Yeah. Or comment about. Um, what was that? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. See ya. See ya. <laughs> Are you being a smart egg? Not me. I don't do that. Golly.